Hi and welcome to section 5, Spelling and Grammar Correction with Bing Spellcheck. In this section we look at how you set up and consume the Bing Spellcheck API, how you work with both grammar and spelling, including dealing with slang and common expressions. We also look at brand identification, titles and popular expressions. So firstly we're going to look at how we get set up with the Bing Spelltech API and discuss some of the key features. Then we look at how we send requests to the Bing Spelltech API. We explore the different Spelltech modes before looking at how the service deals with common expressions and slang. Finally we look at brand recognition, title recognition and popular expressions. Setting up the Bing Spelltech API. In this the first video of section 5 you should gain a good understanding of what is offered by Bing Spellcheck and how you can get set up with everything you need to start using it in your applications. So what is the Bing Spellcheck API? Bing Spellcheck allows you to perform contextual grammar and spell checking in real time. It's a web-based spell checker that utilizes machine learning and statistical machine translation to dynamically train a consistently involving and highly contextual algorithm. Bing Spellchecker is based upon an enormous body of web search data and documents. You can use Bing Spellcheck to help your users correct spelling errors, fix grammar and punctuation, recognize the differences amongst names, brand names and slang, and understand homophones, all in real time while they type. It supports two modes of operation, spell and proof. Spell is intended for single word lookups, whereas proof is intended for documents and larger bodies of text. So why do we need spell checkers? Well, from poor typing to commonly confused words, spelling errors can be found anywhere we have user input. You can increase users' confidence in your application and improve the quality of the content you produce by adding these advanced spelling and grammar checking features to your application. Bing spell check is always up to date, meaning that verbal trends, slang and brand names are always available in your application. While most spell checkers use a dictionary-based rule set, Bing Spellcheck uses machine learning, which provides much more accurate and contextually aware corrections. Like all other services in the Cognitive Services offering, Bing Spellcheck is a RESTful API, which ensures it can be consumed from any language that can issue HTTP requests and pass JSON responses. You can make GET or POST requests depending upon the size of the string that you're trying to analyze, and we'll talk more about this later. There is also a Bing Spellcheck SDK which can be used by .NET Framework languages, and we'll be using that in the next video. So in order to get started, you're going to need to create a new Bing Spellcheck API resource in Azure. There are two pricing tiers available, free and standard. Here you can see the current prices in US dollars, and there are two key things to note here, the transactions per second and the price. You can imagine that limiting your applications to a 100 transaction per second could be restrictive, especially with a mobile app. Bing Spellcheck is also included as part of the Bing Search API. This is a bundled offering that includes all of the search endpoints and supports 250 transactions per second. It's also included in the Cognitive Services resource type as well. More information on pricing can be found at this URL. These prices and service levels are liable to change or vary by region, so please check your local pricing. Any application that uses content or associated information from any of the Bing APIs, including the Spellcheck API, must meet certain requirements. These are known as the use and display requirements, and there are some key ones that you should take note of. You must display the correct Bing branding and provide a link to the Microsoft Privacy Statement, and you cannot copy, store, or cache any data from responses. There's a lot more requirements and it's important that you familiarize yourself with all of these, so I urge you to explore them more at this URL. Okay, so let's switch over to the Azure portal now and create a new Bing Spelltech API resource. Okay, so here we are in the Azure portal. Let's start by selecting Create a Resource. And now select AI and Machine Learning. Select See All. And at the bottom here, next to Cognitive Services, select See More. Here we can see all of the services offered as part of Cognitive Services. There are actually three different ways that we can make use of Bing Spellcheck. By using a Cognitive Services resource, by using a Bing Search V7 resource, 
or by using the Bing Spellcheck API. Let's go for the latter. Each has slightly different quotas and pricing, so be sure to choose the right one for your requirements. So let's select Bing Spellcheck V7 and then click Create. Give your service a name and then select the free pricing tier, a resource group, and then click Create. When the deployment is complete, browse to the new service and select Overview. Here you will see the endpoint URL. You can also access your access keys. You'll need these to be able to make requests to the API. You can also see here your quota information. This shows how many calls you have remaining in your current billing period. So what did we learn? We got a basic overview of what the Bing Spellcheck API offers. And we learned how to create a new Bing Spellcheck API resource in the Azure portal. We also identified some of the restrictions around how you use the API and looked at some of the pricing and quota limitations.